Good evening, my friends. I hope all of you are having an awesome, fantastic day, and hello from Disney's Fort Wilderness. I have a friend that's staying here for a few days over at the campsite, so he's camping for a few days. This is something I've always wanted to do on my own, so I thought I would come by, hang out with him, have a walk around just because it's been such a long time since I've been here just to see what's going on, see all the new updates and just be here because this is such a fun place to be on Disney property and just check out his campsite, see some of the equipment and gear he's using and maybe we can come back and do this in the future. I hope you guys are ready because I am. Let's go do this. All right, as soon as you arrive here, you will go through your first security checkpoint, and then from there, they will direct you to your second checkpoint, which is this building right here. You will do your paperwork, you'll check in. They will also tell you where you're going. You can also stop and rent a golf cart here, which is kind of like a must if you're staying here. You don't have to, but it's a nice touch to have. Of course, this is a additional cost. Also up here at the front, you can find the Fort Wilderness Reception Outpost. You can also find plenty of parking here. Looks like they have some vending up here for snacks and beverages. And if you decide to use Mears Connect from MCO, the Orlando International Airport, this is where they will bring you and drop you off. And also this is where they will pick you up and take you back to the airport. Here's a brief overview of the entire property. And as you guys can see, it is massive. There's a lot going on. You also have the cabins here and of course all of the different campsites. And right across from the reception area where you can rent your golf cart, you can find the bus transportation. I like how they have these monitors up top, just letting the guests know when the next buses will be here. You can also find part of Tri-Circle D Ranch. And I say part just because not too long ago, Disney actually opened up an entire new ranch, I believe on the other side of the property, which we will check out in just a little bit. Check out the horses. Oh my goodness, it smells like the wilderness here. And I believe right here, they actually offer horseback riding and pony riding, which is something I've been wanting to do with Bianca and the family for some time. So we will definitely come back. But yeah, this is right here by the bus stop. Oh, okay, yeah, so that's why it says Tri Circle D Ranch Trail Rides because once again, this is where you can go horseback riding and have a pony ride for the kiddos. I walked over to the right just a little bit. I'm still right by the main bus stop here, but looks like this is where your adventure will begin after you check in. Looks like they also provide lockers. Yeah, this is something I definitely need to do very soon. This looks like so much dang fun. And then over here, they have even more horses. Also, if you do rent a golf cart, but you want to go over to a Disney park, this is where you will come. But look at this, they have like a golf cart parking lot here. <laughs> How neat. Or if you bring your own bicycle or rent one, this is where you can park it and then hop on the bus as well. Let's just say if you're coming here to Fort Wilderness and you wanna see Hoop De Doo Review, which is coming back next month, finally, I'm very excited for that dinner show to return. You will park here in the main parking lot walk over to the bus stop that's right behind me, which is the same bus stop I just showed you, and they will take you over to where Hoop De Doo Review is. It started to rain just a little bit, so I hopped back in the car, and I am now making my way over to my friend's campsite to check out. But something else to keep in mind, always be looking around you because you can spot some awesome wildlife here. Like, look at this guy, a wild turkey. There's so many RVs. This kind of makes me want to look into purchasing an RV just to do really cool stuff like this. I just made it here to the campsite. My biggest advice for you guys, make sure you bring bug spray. Thank me later. Before we have a grand tour of Brian's campsite, I found an empty campsite and I just wanted to show you guys this because this is what you can expect as soon as you arrive to your campsite. This is 2030. This is just a standard tent or pop-up campsite. It basically has everything you will need besides sewage. I do like the little bit of privacy that you get with the trees here. That's a nice touch. And then here's your driveway. Spacious. And then right here you have your water and electric hookup. Let's check it out real quick. Oh yeah, plenty. Then your water. From there, you have a picnic table and a grill, which is nice for cooking. I do like the amount of space that you do have, but I feel like there's more privacy on this side, but not this side. There's your neighbors right there. Looks like a rainstorm could be 
heading in this direction, but that's okay. I also like the shade that you have with the trees just because it gets so hot here in Orlando. So extra shade is very nice to have when you're baking in the heat. I do like this campsite just because like if you get lucky enough, you have trash and recycling right here. So you don't have to walk that far, but you can find these pretty much on every corner here throughout the campsites. Oh no, it started raining. So we came inside. Luckily, Brian has this cover here. It's coming down, but it's not gonna last that long. Look at this. They even have Disney Wi-Fi for you to use and it works pretty good. The rain is still coming down. Look at this. The chair is full of water. Well, unfortunately, it is still raining, but I don't think we have that much longer. So I'm with my buddy Brian, and I'm just gonna let him kind of explain the different equipment and gear he's using just for like my knowledge, because this is something I wanna do in the future. And maybe this could help some of you guys at home that are looking into doing this, because I feel like this is a more affordable way to come here to Walt Disney World, but on a budget and still get those Disney World perks and benefits as you would staying at a hotel. You really don't need that much. Uh, I have a tent. You can comfortably sleep, sleep six adults. A uh, little bit more if you have children. Um, but simple one-room tent, uh, nothing fancy. Uh, obviously, you're going to need some bedding. Uh, that, you can go as fancy or as little as you want. Um, honestly, I would recommend some type of mattress because this is not just ground. It's a gravel ground that you're, you're putting a tent on, and it feels really funny. <laughs> then it's going to be your choice to if you want to prepare food, um, how do you clean up after you prepare food, and then um, just general what games and other stuff do you want to have here. Because there is bike rentals, there's golf cart rentals, horseback riding, um, horse carriage rides. And then for me specifically, I got the super duper water filter. It, it's overkill for this, but I owned it. And it was in the car, so it got used. Um, I have a propane stove. Uh, it's mainly coffee and eggs in the morning. Uh, but however it is raining we could be cooking now where if we relied on the grill we couldn't and then obviously like we're stuck in the rain now but you also want some shade so we have a just a simple cover most people don't get the bug screen with sides um i did because this is not the only place to plan to use it and actually it is florida and they're not spraying for bugs here so uh <laughs> you kind of want it here i have a question brian how much did your golf cart cost you on this trip so it was 75 a day and i believe there was tax on top of that I did not reserve it ahead of time, so I don't know if there's a difference in that price or what a deposit would be. I just happened to show up and they had one. What, what did you pay a deposit at all? No, I just, I paid for the two days that I have it. Not too bad. I would recommend that, wouldn't you? That's the best part about it. Oh, and you told me a story, like when you start to get too hot, you just hop on the golf cart, taking that breeze, and that yeah, really helps? Yeah, it, it feels like you're in a convertible going 75 down the road, <laughs> as far as the breeze goes. In fact, if you go a little bit faster, you'd probably flip it. <laughs> it's still raining just a little bit, but I decided to come out and just give you guys a quick overview of Brian's campsite. So he has two chairs right by the grill here, which is nice. Then you have a picnic area, which is covered. Then over here, you have his tent, which is massive. And then look at the amount of space that's still left. So if I wanted to, I could go purchase a tent and set up here. Plenty of space. And over here is his water and electric hookup. And away we go on Brian's golf cart. Oh, this is fun. I don't know if you guys can tell, but we can see steam coming off the street here, passing by the comfort station, which is your restrooms. There's laundry. We made it back to Brian's campsite, but I wanted to come over here to a comfort station. And you can find these at every loop it's basically the bathrooms with the showers. You have an ice machine. Looks like ice is $2. And you can use your debit or credit cards here. There's bags for ice also. And coming back over here, you have your woman's and man's restrooms. Some information. Trash. Then right here is the laundry area. It is open, you have some water fountains. Looks like $3 for the washer and another $3 for the dryer. You have a beverage vending machine. If you need detergent, they have you covered. And you can use your debit and credit cards to pay for laundry. Cool. 
Oh, there's also a sink. Here's a quick look inside of the restrooms here. And here's a quick look at the showers here. Pretty standard, but they are nice. There's your ice machine there. But this loop has two. This loop is two, this is big. There's the ice machine And then right that's there. our bus stop. Oh yeah, so you're very close to the bus stop. Yeah. Brian is actually staying in the Spanish Moss Lane loop. There's a Disney bus. We made a quick stop. Brian's campsite is a little down the road here and we are surrounded by the cabins and I actually stayed in one of the cabins right over here. But I wanted to show you one of two pools. The pool hours are from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. There's like nobody here. Plenty of lounge chairs. You have restrooms over there, vending, life vest. Oh, there's a hot tub over here, what? There's a little shower. And here's the hot tub. This is nice. There's also a basketball court right over here. And here's the back side of the pool. You have wilderness laundry. There's also a bike rack and a smoking section. And you can pretty much find these all over the resort at any like group gathering location. Driving through where you can find the different cabins. Man, these were just so much fun. I cannot recommend the cabins enough. They are pretty hard to find at times, just because they are always in demand. And if you have dogs, you can bring them here. In other words, Fort Wilderness is pet friendly. I did find this little trail here, so if you bring your own bicycle or if you just want to take a jog, you do have that option here. Passing by this bus stop, there's a playground and another basketball court and volleyball. We are about to go off the road. It says Meadow Court parking this way. All right, Brian. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, jeez. I did not know I was riding Space Mountain today. We are now here at Meadow Trading Post, which is their gift shop. I did want to point out, if you don't get a golf cart, there's also regular parking. So if you want to drive over in your car, you do have that option. And the Meadows Trading Post is open from 8.30 a.m. all the way to 10 o'clock p.m. Oh, this is very nice. They sell firewood for $11.99. You have souvenir coins, everything to make s'mores. You have your resort refillable mugs here. I mean, it's pretty much a standard Disney gift store with a little bit of everything. There's a lot of dog merchandise here too. Then of course you can find your normal stuff, milk, beverages, teas, sodas, beer, wine, Lunchables, eggs, butter, cheese. The best part, Mickey ice cream sandwiches and the 50th anniversary Mickey premium ice cream bar. Frozen pizzas, Eggos, ice cream, chips, candy, bread more candy by the pound oh looks like you have a coffee machine here and then if you want any alcohol they have you covered moonshine a little bit of everything here batteries cameras chargers if you somehow forget anything looks like they have you covered as well medicine deodorant diapers plates Dawn, baby food, plastic silverware. And they also have this for like camping. So everything you may need for camping, hose support, extension cords, a water hose. They have charcoal, propane, bug spray, duct tape. If you cook out, they have pretty much everything you may need. Tea, cereal, Pop-Tarts. You can also find some exclusive Fort Wilderness merchandise. Look at this one for the 50th anniversary with Chip and Dale. I like this photo frame here. Christmas ornaments. Oh, look at these ears with Chip and Dale. They also have a checkers game tablecloth, a towel. I like this too. Nice. Board games, if you need to get the kiddos something to do. They also have some toys here. 
some plushes. We just left the Meadows Trading Post, but we came out on the other side. You can find a few rocking chairs out here. It's very quiet, but I wanted to point out across the way here, they offer bicycle rentals. I know once upon a time you can rent canoes. We just looked on the website. It's currently not being offered or fishing is not currently being offered, unfortunately. But I'm sure it will return at some point, just not right now as of May 2022. Okay, the trading post was right here. We're going on a little bit of an adventure here across this bridge and right here towards your right, you have the main pool. I'm noticing this sign. It says fishing at the fort, which is something I've always wanted to do here, but they are not offering this excursion right now. But again, you would go over here to the bike barn, which is right there. Oh, look at this. They have a little mining station for the kiddos, but again, it's not open. I used to love doing these as a kid. I'm now here at the bike barn and I wanted to show you some of the activities with pricing that they offer. So if you wanted to rent a bicycle, you're looking at $11 per 60 minutes or $20 per day. And if you guys want to pause the screen to check out everything else, open daily from 9 a.m. to 5 o'clock p.m. To the left of the bike barn, you have the theater area and this used to be, I believe, Chip and Dell's like s'more thing that they used to do, which I never got to do. And I hope that they will bring it back one day. But I was told this is where they do movie nights. So if you wanna come out and hang out and watch a movie, this is where you will come. You do have the option if you want to get a locker, $1 per rental. They have some games out for the kiddos to play. Also over here, you can find the main pool, which is the bigger pool. There's a splash pad area for the little ones. Pool hours are from 10 a.m. to 11 o'clock p.m. There's also a really fun slide here. There's the main pool. Plenty of lounge chairs. Looks like the arcade is over here. Yeah, there's a sign. The arcade is right there. And on the other side of the slide, you can find another small playground, a bike rack, and a place to play volleyball. It's still sprinkling just a little bit, but this property is big. There's so much to do. Like you can be here for an entire week and not get bored no matter if you're staying here in your RV or camping in a tent or staying in one of the cabins. There's just so much to do. So many different activities, a lot of privacy, multiple pools, multiple places to eat, activities for you and the family and the kiddos. It's nice back on the golf cart and I was just talking with Brian and I feel like adding the golf cart will just make your experience like a lot better and a lot more fun. Just having the convenience of hopping in your golf cart and going wherever you need to go here around property. And if you are bringing your pet here, they have a dog park here. Oh, look at the sign, it has Pluto. Wagon Trails Dog Park, small dog area large dog area, water hose, poop bags, and yet again, another playground. Something to note that there are no pull through sites at Disney. So that means that you have to back all of your rigs in. So if you're 70 foot long, you have to back it in. We are now driving over to Pioneer Hall. We're not that far away. We have our own golf cart parking lot. And look at this. There's hoop you do review and trails end. If you continue walking this way, that is where you can find the internal bus and then Tricircle D Ranch is just right over there. But I'm hungry. We need to find food. I am happy to finally announce the rain has stopped and the sun is back out. Oh, look at this. Returning soon. The hoop de doo review. Reservations available starting May 26, 2022. Not that much longer. Here's Trails End, which is open, but not today. Womp, womp, womp. Howdy partners, Trails Inn is currently closed and will reopen for breakfast at 7.30 a.m. Closed Tuesdays and Wednesdays, so that's something to keep in mind. You do have a quick service option called P&J's Southern Takeout. Breakfast from 7.30 to 11.30 and then lunch and dinner 11.30 to 10 o'clock p.m. And you can place a mobile order here. If you guys want to scan the QR code to check out the menu. There you go. This is where you will come if you want to head over to the Magic Kingdom, either by boat or bus. And then if you do want a adult beverage, they have you covered right here. But I am here on a really good day 
because it's food truck roundup. This looks like pretty much the exact same menu over at PJ's. They have a little bit of everything. Plus, look at this macaroni and cheeseburger. My goodness. I mean, look at all of the different options you have. What? They have a pizza cone? What the heck is that? <laughs> I kind of want to try it. This food truck is called Smack South Carolina Mac and Cheese. There's just so many options. I mean, look at this Jack Smack with whiskey. You also have some Mexican food. That quesadilla looks so good. Next fries. That's interesting. They have Italian ice here. The last food truck is called Apps. Looks like they have different burgers, empanadas, hot dogs, a grilled chicken wrap, chicken tenders, grilled cheese. All right, I decided to start here at Pizza Cone Express. I got a pepperoni pizza cone for $8. I got a side of ranch for a dollar and a Diet Coke for $3. So the prices aren't really that bad compared to Disney prices. If you guys want to check out the menu, there is a QR code. Here's my very interesting looking pizza cone. I got pepperoni, Diet Coke, and a side of ranch. Brian got a Jack Smack from Smack. It's the one with Jack Daniels whiskey in it. Here's what the inside looks like. It's very cheesy, but so far I'm really enjoying this. It's very unique. I just think it's funny. It's a legit cone, but pizza, not ice cream. That pepperoni pizza cone was delicious. Like it was the right amount of food for me. I also had a little bit of Brian's mac and cheese. It was good. I didn't really taste a lot of that like Jack Daniels, but like the bacon, the cheese was good. The pasta was like very thick. So I would kind of consider that more of a pasta than like a mac and cheese, but I enjoyed that. Let's get back on track. So you have Pioneer Hall right there, all the food trucks. If you continue walking, this will take you down to the marina. Look at the stunning Florida sunset. Wow. How beautiful. Like I said, if you continue walking straight, you do have your watercraft service over to the Magic Kingdom. And you can also rent boats here. I just cannot get over the sunset. I do want to quickly point out that right here, I think is the construction site for Reflections, which is a new DVC resort. I don't really see much of anything, but it makes sense. You do have some fun upgrades that you can do. You have the fireworks cruise starting at $3.99, includes driver, 10 guests. You also have a guided bass fishing excursion starting at $235 two hour trip or $455 for a four hour trip with five guests. But it says it is closed right now. Also, if you do want a little bit more privacy, there's plenty of tables and chairs around the marina here. Even over here, you have even more privacy. You have some more lockers. Check this out. There's like a beach area. You have some lounge chairs over here, a shower. This is awesome. For dessert, I did pick up some Italian ice. I got the mango flavor. I was told this one is the best, so let's give it a try. Holy cow, guys. Brian warned me how good this was, and it's definitely the best Italian ice I've ever had. It's very creamy and smooth, and it's real mango. Like, there's no dairy in here. I wanna point out this is fat-free, kosher, gluten-free, nut-free, vegan, and dairy-free, so that's something to keep in mind if you're here when this food truck is here. This is awesome. Like I'm enjoying every bite of this. And fun fact, Brian just told me that this food truck where you get the Italian ice was parked by the main pool all afternoon. Something else to keep in mind. How fun. I got a color changing spoon. So when it gets cold, it'll come out here. Look at that. Can you tell? I hated it. Not too far away from the food truck area, this used to be the pathway that you would get over to Wilderness Lodge. We can kind of see Wilderness Lodge right there, but also Mickey's Barbecue used to be in this direction. And then you have the arcade right here next to Trails End. I made a stop inside of the arcade. It is a little small, but it's something to do. 
Ooh, they have Pac-Man. And then a card station. Here's the prices. If you guys want to have a look. I'm now across the street from Pioneer Hall. There is the bus stop right there. And all of this is walled off because this is the area of the construction site for Reflections, the new DVC hotel. And then right behind me, you have the brand new Tricycle D Ranch. And it looks like I missed it for the day. The hours were from 10 a.m. to 5 o'clock p.m. Looks like they still offer carriage rides, trail rides. And then there's the phone number if you guys want to make a reservation. And then down below, they offer pony rides. The next time I'm here, I will definitely check out the Tri-Circle D Ranch. We can see a few horses back there. But out here, it's really nice. There's the Contemporary Resort right there. I walked a little further down just to see if I can see anything else and unfortunately they have everything closed. But this is something fun to keep in mind for the entire family to do. Like if you have a resort day, this is something fun to do because you actually get to go inside and have a closer look at the different horses and gain some knowledge and it's really fun in there. I haven't been inside this one, but the old ranch was so much fun. And you know, also if you need a break mid-afternoon from being inside of the parks, come back, go to the pool, change, and bring the family over here to enjoy. I'm not gonna lie, by being here today is really bringing back a lot of fun memories for me because when I was in the Disney College program, I would always come here with my friends just because you had so many fun activities to do for cheap or like no cost at all. So we'd always come here, we'd go see hoop de doo we would go to the ranch, we would go to Trails Inn because, you know, if you guys did not know, Trails Inn is the most affordable restaurant here at Disney, sit down restaurant. I think it's like 20 or $25 for a buffet basically. Just a lot of good memories here. I spent a lot of time here at Fort Wilderness. You know what? I'm going to make a stop here inside of P&J Southern Takeout just to see what they have because we are waiting around to watch Disney Enchantment from Fort Wilderness. I'm inside and yeah, this is Trails End. Usually the buffet would be right here, but now it's just P&J's. Let's see what they have out on display. Ooh, cornbread. They have some cookies. Fruit cup, yogurt, a cinnamon roll, muffins, a berry salad, a fort salad. Look at these cupcakes, the chicken dinner cupcake trio for $9.99. Looks like you have a vegetable cupcake, a fried chicken cupcake, and a mashed potato cupcake. That is so clever. And over here you have a chocolate cupcake, a s'mores cupcake, and a strawberry shortcake. Ooh, I wonder if it tastes like hoop de doo review. I kinda want this, I don't know. I know it's a lot of sugar, but that is just so funny and cool. Check it out. This is the horse carriage ride that you can do here. This is something else I would not mind doing one day. You can find a bigger playground here, and you can also find the Settlement Trading Post, which is another gift store which is a little bit smaller than the first one that we toured through a little bit earlier. I had to up my exposure just because it's almost pitch black out here, but we're over here on the beach. We found some lounge chairs. What was that? Did you hear that, Brian? Like a fish just jumped out of the water. We are right on the waterfront here, and the fireworks should be somewhere right over here because Magic Kingdom is here, and then you have the contemporary right there. We have a Disney water taxi pulling up right now and that's something else to keep in mind if you don't want to take a bus over to the Magic Kingdom you do have boat transportation that will get you right there. And I do believe this same boat will also get you over to Wilderness Lodge so you have more dining options if you want and then over to the Magic Kingdom. Look at that. They're also piping in the soundtrack here.
finale time. Oh yeah, here we go. We are now hopping back in the golf cart and we're heading back to Brian's campsite. But look at this golf cart. They decorated it. It's a nice touch. Something else Fort Wilderness is known for is during the Halloween and Christmas season, a lot of people will come here and decorate with lights. And we can kind of see a small preview right here. Well, I'm pretty sure I covered the entire property here at Disney's Fort Wilderness. There's a lot to do, there's a lot to see. No matter if you're coming here to camp or bring your RV, or stay in the cabins. There's so much to do. Plus you have the food trucks, holy cow. Hey guys, Future Dev here. So as I was filming that last clip, my camera died, so I'm doing the outro now. Like I was saying, it was just so much fun being at Disney's Fort Wilderness. Not only just checking out Brian's campsite, but just being there, enjoying the food trucks, and just walking around. I can't wait until everything opens back up to 100% like Fort Wilderness used to be with hoop de doo review and all that fun stuff. That is such a fun, unique experience you can only find here at Walt Disney World. And this is something I do wanna do. I do wanna camp at Fort Wilderness and I do wanna camp around Florida, but I will not do it during the summer just because it gets so hot. Once the fall weather comes and the cooler weather is here, I will definitely be doing some camping. But it was nice just gaining some knowledge from Brian regarding equipment and gear what to avoid, what to bring, tips and tricks. So I hope you guys enjoyed this fun vlog because I really had fun. Besides the rain, it was a great time. Yeah, I can't wait to be back and experience the horseback riding and the carriage ride and then hoop de doos coming back and then just ending the night beachside at Fort Wilderness watching Enchantment from inside of the Magic Kingdom was the cherry on top. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up because it really does help out the channel in so many different ways. I love you all and YouTube. I will see you in the next video. Prince Charming, out. I am feeling lonely and I want to make it start to end the right. They need to slowly over those gonna lift me up this time. You are the only one who got me tripping up inside